Obey our laws. I work for Mokul. You got a problem, you talk to him. Welcome to the Wretching Nets Corner Club. Home of... Well, well. Agile's got himself a spy, does he? Azura knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulins for years now. No. I just think he's going about this the wrong way. Actually, I do. If you want to catch those slippery slaughterfish, you need to let them come to you. There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving Ash Yam offerings on the altar inside. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. What makes you think I have it? Any time Adril and the Redoran Guard made a move, the Ulans must have been one step ahead and didn't show up. You can thank me if it works. Until then, I'd head to the tomb and wait until your visitor shows up. Watch yourself out there. Looks like an ash storm might be brewing. Has proved useful. Tell us, you. Are you sure? So Geldus's plan worked, eh? Every time we tried, no one would ever show up. If Telesu was involved in any sort of plot to harm Councillor Morvey, I'm going to need hard evidence to prove it. I'm not kicking down anyone's door until I have solid evidence in hand. If you're wrong about Telesu, Things would quickly go downhill around here, and the real comforts might Lord, slip away. You need to can't afford for that to happen. Can't get blood if you stone. have evidence that it places your life in peril, that is I would expect from. you to I do whatever you must to keep yourself alive. My first artist. Here, 
This key should open the front door of the manor in case they've locked it. Good luck. Telesu is wife to the family patriarch, Vendel. They have a single child, a daughter named Mary. They arrived here ten years ago and have been nothing but a benefit to Raven Rock ever since. They are quite wealthy and they've been quite generous by sharing their fortune with the community. They've contributed coin, food, supplies, even helped repair a few of the buildings in town with their own hands. People have mentioned it's a bit off about how close in age Mary appears to be to her father, but that's hardly a cause for alarm. Just make sure you find solid evidence. If I accuse them without it, I'll be the laughing stock of the colony. You might think it's all perfume and roses now in my home. All I see is a new security problem on our hands. Making sure those shipments at Ebony make it safely from the mine to the shipping docks is my new order of the day. And with Solstein crawling with Reavers and Azora knows what else, I can't risk any attacks on Ravenrock. Villa Ulan wasn't the first Ulan to live in Ravenrock. His father, Valen Ulan, was one of the first Dunn to settle here. Unlike his son, Villa, Valen was a good man. He contributed to the community and was quite respected. When Valen died, his family provided the funds to construct the tomb. The Ulin family being a part of House Lalu didn't matter. It's Dunma's tradition for the ashes of the deceased to be placed in an ancestral tomb. Valen Ulin and his son's remains were both laid to rest there because that's what he'd requested. Be careful. If the Severans have betrayed us, then they'll be well armed. For some reason you weep of it. I promise you, I have nothing but good.